This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, April 26th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Mondays are our time for uh, COVID-19 updates and there actually isn't a whole lot to report on this week. We're hard at work here at the church getting ready for our first low capacity service on May 9th. We'll be launching registrations for that service a week from today. And there's lots to do this week related to that, but actually little firm to announce just yet. There's there's a lot of pieces that need to need to be put into the puzzle uh, before we get a sense of what the whole picture is. But in the meantime, um, here's something that I uh, I heard on the radio that I've been thinking about the last the last couple days related to the pandemic. There's a lot of conversation right now about vaccination rates, right? How we're starting to see the transition from a world where demand exceeds the supply for vaccines in Lincoln and in this country to a world where vaccines are are generally available, but demand is actually the limiting factor on the vaccination rate rather than supply. A world where there's more vaccines than there are people who want to get vaccinated in any given day. Now, there's a danger in that world of labeling everyone who hasn't gotten a vaccine yet as resistant or skeptical because there's actually a third group of people that we don't usually talk about in between those who have already gotten vaccinated and those who are just not going to. And the, the metaphor that this doctor on the radio used goes like this. A lot of the people who have already been vaccinated are, imagine them as the folks who stand outside overnight to get the new iPhone on the day that it comes out. Separately, there are folks who are never going to get an iPhone. You know, maybe they're, they're happy with their current phone. Maybe they think that the ghost of Steve Jobs will sell their information to China if they get an iPhone. But a lot of people, most people, are probably just going to get a new phone when they go to upgrade their phone the next time. And the danger is in confusing that last group of people who, with the folks who are afraid of the ghost of Steve Jobs, right? Confusing the people who just will upgrade their phone when it's time to upgrade their phone with the folks who are never going to. In between the vaccine early adopters and the true vaccine skeptics are a whole lot of people who are just going to get vaccinated when it's convenient, when they have an annual physical or when they see most of their friends vaccinated or when their church is saying we're reopening but we really, really would like you to get vaccinated before you're here. That's the step that we're on right now. We've got the early adopters. Now comes the steady work of everybody upgrading their metaphorical smartphones. I don't know, I, that, that spoke to me a lot this week and this moment that we're in with vaccination rates. We'll talk more tomorrow and we'll pick up more with specific things as we're getting ready for the ninth as we get closer to that. Until then, have a lovely evening and I will see you tomorrow.